my back again. Oh, I got a package. Y'all didn't want to grab my package? Disrespectful. Welcome to my hood. Let's go. Y'all know when I'm in the kitchen or wherever, I love to twerk. I got this new booty, so why not? Hey, hey is it moving? Hey, 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 hey. And then go like. Ooh, I'm getting old, I might not be able to bring it back up. Just kidding. <laughs> What she want? Yeah, <laughs> I sound like I'm from New York, like you. What she doing? Nothing, girl. Sitting here smoking hookah. You always so. smoking hookah, girl. I'm about to film this Q and A for the nosies. I don't know how much I should tell them. No, I'm scared. Oh no, you gonna give them all the tea? Girl, I might give them a little bit. You know, you know they. I, I might give them a little sprinkle. <laughs> a little one too. You what should I? What should I not answer? What you? What you think I should not answer? Huh? Give them a little tad bit. Don't give it all. But what should I not answer, though? Because you know what they be wanting to know. They be wanting to know about the spicy, spicy stuff. Mm, they might have to pay for They might have to pay for that. They might have to subscribe to the OnlyFans for that. <laughs> you might have to post that on the Only. Hey, I need to have my own tea tender since they always post me on tea tenders and bullshit. All right, well, let me hit you back. I'm going to call you after this, babe. Okay, babe. All right, love you, babe. Let me get this started, you little nosy mother suckers. <laughs> What's up, it's your girl Yasmin Lopez. Some of y'all know me as Yummy, cause I'm Yummy in real life. Um, but a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions, trying to be real nosy. So I was like, why not give you a little, you know, one, two into my life, you know? I'm gonna answer some questions. It might get dirty, it might get like messy. I don't know, I know not messy. We gonna just get deep down to it. But I have my favorite pillow with me. My friend Bree, she's actually my nail tech. I mean this pillow and it's my favorite pillow. It shows my son and like, it's my baby. Okay, anyway, so I have my phone right here. I went on Instagram and I just went on live and I um, put on my story I said ask me questions and y'all definitely ask me some questions y'all y'all just let's get down to it So I'm gonna just start and just go through the questions and let's go First one. Let me take you out y'all. This is how we start and let me take y'all <laughs> Take you out where are we going to KFC cuz I love me a little two-piece with the drumstick and the mashed potatoes Listen, I'm 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 bougie, but I'm ghetto. I'm like bougetto, you know what I mean? But okay, um, do you still talk to Nate Got Keys? Okay, me and Nate Got Keys never even talked like that. It was just a YouTube couple thing. We kind of did work together. We did bomb content, and that was that. Like we make we we had really good videos we did together, and he was actually one of my friends. Like to this day, I love Nate. He's super cool, has a dope personality, and he's getting to the back. So um, let me see. Da -da 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 what surgery have you guys done? It looks super good on you. I'm sick and tired of this question. So this is the last time I'm gonna answer. I have got nothing done, okay? I did get some ass shots, but I have got nothing done in my stomach. I have not got a BBL. I have not got anything done. Like, I'm gonna show you my booty. Okay, like, it's like, it's still. Damn! Look, you know, it's, I wanted the guy who did it to make it look natural. My booty was like nothing before. So now I'm like, I got a little bit of ass. It's crazy because now I got a fat ass and my titties is gone. So that goes to the next question. Y'all asking me about a breast reduction. No, I did not get a breast reduction. I breastfed my son and like any mother knows when you breastfeed, your boobs go down. Like, so, I, fuck my phone just fell, hold on. Pow. Oh! So, um, I did go to a consultation with the doctor in Beverly Hills and I'm interested in like getting my boobs done potentially, but I don't want that lollipop line and like my boobs were so big before and they got even bigger when I was pregnant. So I know they have to lift them and that line that goes down, I'm just not really interested in it. I want to find a doctor that leaves no scarring, but I don't know if that's possible with like, I don't know. The doctor that I went to said that it's not possible, but I feel like with the, there's a way for anything to happen if you have the money for it. So I'm trying to find the best doctor for it. If, if anything, I'm just gonna wait. Because also my son is so fucking little that I think that me picking him up and stuff, it won't be possible just being, cause I'll be healing. So I don't think right time is now. Um, what sur other, what all surgeries have you? I also did my teeth too. So my teeth were already straight before, but I did my top eight teeth with Encino Dental Smile over here in Encino in California. And they did my top eight, I didn't do the bottom. But growing up I had buck teeth, like I was super like, I don't know, I didn't like it. I would smile and it's like, eh, like a damn beaver, like eh. So I had Invisalign. Um, my grandmother actually won the Invisalign braces with a deal through like some contest or something. She was at some raffle. So I had Invisalign in middle school. I was super excited, my dumb ass left the Invisalign trays on a on my lunch tray and dumped it out. My mama said, girl, you're not getting no more. Like, you, you, you just wasted your time. 
So if I could go back in time, I probably would've got braces. My teeth were straight, but like eventually, I don't know what, because at night I go like this. It sounds freaky, like at night you go like that. But at night my tongue goes behind my teeth and it was pushing my teeth out, so it gave me like a little gap, and I didn't like it at all. And I also like did something, I don't know what I ate, I chipped my tooth. So I had a little piece right there and I said, fuck it. And I'm like, let me go. I actually went to the dentist for a cleaning and the doctor was showing me all these bomb ass teeth and I'm like, let me do this. So I'm gonna show you guys before and after uh, my teeth. They weren't crazy, but I like them way better now. I was scared though, cause I'm like, I do not want my teeth to look like, some people's teeth look so fake and it's huge. I like, I, I think my teeth look natural in my opinion. So, so, so. Um, how old is your son? My son is about to be one. He's 10 months right now. I'm planning as a big ass party. I think it's gonna be the party of the year. Um, yeah, his name is Chosen and he's the love of my life. How many times a week do you work out? Okay, so when it comes to working out, I try to be strict. So on Mondays, I'll go with my trainer. Tuesdays, I wanna be outside and do something like active, active like I will do the stairs, I'll go do running, but it still has to be something that, you know, makes me sweat. I don't like to take any days off just because I get lazy, even though you may need to take a day off. Like, I think when you're consistent, I think you see results more. And also when you're eating healthy, and let me not even lie to y'all, I eat bullshit sometimes too, but lately I've been doing good. Like, I'm like a type of person where you see that meme, it's like, after you eat, um, I have a sweet tooth, so I want something sweet on my tooth right after. So it's really hard to stay healthy, but I found a lot of healthy foods and recipes online and just going to Whole Foods that I've become obsessed with. Um, I'll do a video on that soon too. Um, mm -mm, who is my favorite cast member on Zeus? Hmm, there's a few that I really like. Of course, Mangina, he's my buddy. Who else? Natalie is my girl. Where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. I love Darrell, he's so fucking funny. He's definitely like one of my favorites for sure. Um, who else? I'm trying to think, I haven't watched it in a, so, in a minute. I like Roly Poly, Roly Poly's hilarious. She's just funny and she like just beats everybody up. Why y'all ass be working out and eating bullshit? Cause I can and I still am. And I'ma post it cause y'all can see that I'm human and I eat what the fuck I wanna eat and I eat a salad too. I'm the type of person that eat a salad and then after that I'll eat like a, a milkshake. It's just, it balances it out. It's hard, it's hard. I bet a lot of females wanna be sexual with you. I'm interested in you, girl, you're so fine. Oh, I am attracted to women. So my thing about girls is, I don't see myself ever dating a girl, but like if I'm feeling tipsy, we might, you know, it might, it might go down, you know? I'm more like, hmm, I gotta be drunk to mess with a girl. I can't just be sober and just be like, oh, let's do something. I gotta be tipsy. Like, cause I'm not really gay, but I do, I'm attracted to females. I, females are beautiful. I feel like we kind of know each other's body more than the man might know it because we're, we're actually a woman. But I do like women as well. Did you have postpartum with Chosen? By the way, I love you, girl. Love you too. And I don't think I had postpartum. I kind of bounced back really quick. And I was surrounded by lots of love between my family and all my friends. And um, considering the circumstances, like I dealt with my pregnancy in a positive way. I was so happy, I was working out, I was glowing. I was just, again, surrounded by so much love. I don't think that I went through postpartum. I didn't have a time in my pregnancy where I was just down. My mom called me every day. My mom was there in the delivery room. My friends were just so supportive of everything and they would, I don't know, my baby's like their baby too. So, but anybody going through postpartum, I'd recommend to just be surrounded by love and just people around you who love you and care about you and just want the best for you and will be there to help you out too. So, I know that's a lot of, a lot of mothers struggle with postpartum. So I, I know it's a serious topic. Let me see. Would I marry a big, fat, super, mega rich sumo wrestler? Y'all just ask anything. I mean, I don't discriminate, but I don't like how you worded it. A big, fat, super, mega rich sumo wrestler. He might break the bed. If we're like in the bed, he might break the bed. I don't know if we could do that. Um, Did you breastfeed? Yes, I breastfed my son for like six months or maybe less, maybe like five months. I wish I was still breastfeeding because if you know, it's a formula shortage right now. It's real, I seen that shit on Google and on the shade room and stuff, and I didn't believe it. But now when I go to the store, I'm like, oh my God, there's no formula left. I stock, every time I go, I stock up and buy like 20 for my son. But I did breastfeed, and it's funny now because my son is attached to my boob, and he just always, even he always goes I'm like, son, it's no milk in here, what are you doing? But yeah. Would you ever consider foot modeling portfolio? Subscribe to my OnlyFans. You'll see my feet on OnlyFans. <laughs> Why do I love you so much? I love you too. That's Kasha. That's my bestie. 
Um, when do you want another kid? I know you just had one, but would you like any more kids? Definitely, I do want more kids, but no time soon. I actually had my son at a time in my life where I don't think I was ready. Of course now, he's the love of my life and I'm obsessed with him. And he's helped me grow and he's helped me learn a lot of new things. But I'm young, I'm 23, I don't want another kid anytime soon. I think maybe like 30 when I settle down and I'm married and I like, you know, I don't, I don't just want to be a baby mama. I think I got my one strike being a baby mama and after that I'm cool. I don't want any, I don't want to be, no. I'm cool. I'm cool. Let me not jinx myself, Lord. Woo! Woo! <sighs> it's Chance, your baby daddy. Girl, no. Y'all are funny. Y'all y'all was asking me at the whole show. So the thing about that show, it's a reality TV. So, so I don't understand why everybody believes what you see on TV. What did your mama teach you? You cannot believe everything you see on television because that shit don't be real and they want to see drama and they want to see just a whole bunch of stuff for y'all to be talk about. But I never liked Chance. It was never even like that. I did the show. I won. Nobody else won after me. And that's that. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Were you and Trey songs a thing? That was my man. I met Trey when I was like 17 or 18. I met him back home in Charlotte, North Carolina. I met him at Seattle Ballet. And ever since then, we've been like this. Um... Yeah, Trey and I are cool. I wish him the best. We're not together right now, but that's somebody who played a huge role in my life through all my negative time, my positive times. He's been around my family. Um, my little brothers love him, but sometimes people just don't see eye to eye. But I love him and I wish him the best. But I don't have nothing negative to say about Trey. Like you know. Why are you so fucking beautiful? It should be against the law, girl. Oh, thank you. Do I like the Cowboys? That's not my favorite team, I, but I, I mean, I don't really like football in general, so. <laughs> Let me get, da, 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 da. when are you making more bikinis? So my bikini line is coming out soon. I know you guys love my fifth wave. I've been just so busy with Chosen and working and this and that, I haven't been able to put my time into it. And I'm the type of person, a businesswoman, that whenever I drop some something, I want it to be high quality, top tier shit. I don't want it to just half ass anything. So new fifth wave is coming and I want to cater to all shapes, all sizes, all everything. I want it to be very diverse. So I don't want it just to be skimp, skimpy, small bikinis. I want one pieces. My workout line is coming. Everything is coming. When am I going to book Drippy? Who's Drippy? Oh, a nail tech. Girl, let me, I'm, I'll DM you. I'll DM you. Who did your booty shots? Asking for myself because it looks so natural. Y'all, the guy who did it is fire, but I'm like under NDA. I can't tell you. Y'all don't think I'm hating, but I can't say. Like, I did the legal booty shots. I'm not, it did hurt. It felt like I was gonna die, but like the pain was just after it, you don't feel nothing. But I'm not about to sit here and tell you, oh, go get basement shots or whatever you wanna call them because it is illegal. And yeah, so that's what I did. <laughs> would you ever date somebody if they had to go to jail for a few months? I would date somebody and go to jail for a few months, depending on how close we are. But I can't do a few years. Like, I know all the hold it down type, five, 10 years. But listen, 10 years you're away? First of all, no, no. I understand all the girls that want to hold it down, but for 10 years, I can't hold it down for 10 years. Now, a few months, I'm gonna hold it down for a few months, okay? You gonna hold it down in the jail though? Cause you know what they say when men go to jail though. Let me stop. When can I hug you? That's all I need. How do I handle criticism? So like negative comments and mean things people used to say to me used to hurt my feelings, but now I've learned to embrace the negativity and just laugh at it. And you can't read comments. It's social media. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Um, you can't look at that shit all day. You can't go look for shit that's gonna make you go make you mad either. So. I would just say embrace your haters because at the end of the day, they love you, they're watching you, and if they didn't care, they wouldn't even be watching you. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Hey. Thong or commando? Definitely commando. I sleep ass naked. I like to be naked with a fan. I like to be under all four or five sheets. And yeah, I like to be naked because it's just like comfortable. Like, why am I sleeping with clothes on? For what? Am I in love with anybody? <laughs> I am talking to somebody, but I'm like just I'm as far as relationships are concerned, I'm gonna keep my relationships to myself because I feel like social media people see you happy. They don't want to see you happy. So ultimately, I'm not into the posting your man and doing this and whatever. I used to post certain things and be out with my man in public and things. It's cool to do that, but I just don't think everybody should know your business because you tell the wrong person and it just goes left. Like I don't know, but I am talking to somebody. I like him or whatever, but I'm not gonna tell you who. Do I regret doing TV? No, I don't regret doing TV. Would I do it differently? If I could look back, I definitely would do TV differently just because I feel like it puts 
I don't know. How do I word it? A neg- it's negatives and positives to doing TV because people gonna always have something to say, like I said. But the show, I would never do a, another reality TV dating show. I would do a show that kind of shows like my life more in a positive light, my family, my son, my lifestyle, me working, me, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not a dating show to somebody who I would never date in real life. Like, no. Did I ever date Carmelo Anthony or was that just a rumor? No, that was my man. The flowers was real. He sent me and somebody else flowers and I seen like I was literally sitting next to him in the bed and I'm like, yo, who sent her these flowers, bro? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so I talked about that on T's podcast. That was my most embarrassing moment. Like at the time, I was so upset about it and it hurt my feelings, but now I can look at it and laugh. It's actually funny to me what happened, but yeah. Let me see. When did I start doing OnlyFans? I started doing OnlyFans a few years ago. So uh, one of my friends, her name is Jay Mulan. She actually had put me on it. She connected me with my manager. And ever since then, we've been locked in. My manager is the best thing ever. He has, He's the reason I'm a millionaire. Um, and yeah, I started, I'm 23. I probably started when I was like 20 doing OnlyFans. But it wasn't as serious as it was now. I started doing it by myself. And it was like cool money, but once I got a manager is when things took off. Like I have somebody who runs my whole account who I just suit, I just submit content to. Like, yeah, my OnlyFans team is amazing. What's one thing you want to accomplish by the end of 2022? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put 2023. I'm gonna just kind of edit it a little bit for you guys, okay? I want I'm in the process of building my new home. So I hopefully it'll be done soon, but I want my big ass house, I want my big ass pool in the back, I want my chef, I want like, that's my goal right now, I'm working towards my huge house. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I want a big ass house and I just want everything lavish for my son. So that is one of my goals right now, to buy a big ass house. I, my house is huge now, but I want an even bigger house for my child. I want like, my dream is to have a house where I don't have to leave. I have my chef here, I have my pool here. It's like my own country club so where I can just relax and on my business. and. Only thing I gotta do, and only place I gotta leave is take my son to the doctor or uh, to travel out of town. Everybody can come over here. But I'm not like a come over my house type person either. If we're not like this, I'm not like inviting you over. I don't think everybody should be at your house. Um, I see you have clean skin. If you was ever to get a tattoo, what would it be? Okay, so my dad passed away. Um, so I thought about getting his tattoo on me, but I never did it. I was kind of scared. But if I were to get a tattoo, I would get my dad's name on one hand and then my son's name. But I would do it in like a creative way. I don't think I want to do it to where like everybody has their tattoos. Like, so that's that. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna answer a few more questions, and then yeah, cause y'all asked a lot. Y'all asked a lot. Let me see. When do I plan on settling down? Whenever God wants me to settle down is when I'm gonna settle down. I'm in a space right now where like I'm dating, um, but I have a son now, so I'm, I wanna get married. I wanna live with my man, I wanna wake up to him every day. I wanna be nasty in the morning, and I don't be nasty all day. I wanna you know travel the world with somebody. But I feel like relationships nowadays are so hard because there's so many expectations with social media. It's so messy, it's so, like nobody's loyal. It's just whatever, whatever, whatever with that. But. Da, 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 da. Do you have a secretly? Do you have a boyfriend that's really talking to someone? I just said I'm talking to somebody. Yes, but I'm kind of done with men that are in the limelight. I don't want a man who's like a rapper or athlete. Like my baby daddy's athlete. My I mess with athletes in general um, or rappers, whatever. I want somebody who's low key, not no little drug dealer. I want like a businessman, a doctor, a lawyer, somebody who's not in all the light because it just gets it just gets to be too much sometimes when you when you're both in the limelight and this you know, I, no i want somebody who works nine to five okay <laughs> basically so yeah but there's a lot more questions but i can't answer them all right now so if you are watching this should comment down below hit that subscribe button and maybe we'll do a q a part two